Hey guys, welcome back to Top Tip for Betting Tips. I trust you had a fantastic day's racing and you really enjoyed it like we did. There were some, some fantastic, fantastic finishes. The horses on display were absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal um, horse flesh. And um, guys, we really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it like we did at Top Tipper. And um, I hope you enjoyed the tips that we put forward for you. I'm going to have the postman tipping out at Turfentain, and hopefully he can tip us a nice eight race program and we can get some nice tidy profit as well. So here's the postman. Yeah, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, no matter where in the world you guys are. And a big warm welcome to the Top Tipper family. Before we get into the selections for Sunday, the 2nd of July, just a big congratulations to. Um, everybody concerned with Winchester Mansion today at, at, during the July. What a ride. What a win. Congratulations all. Um, and again, we have to go and take our hats off to Miss Geriatrics. Um, phenomenal. Five on a trot. Really, really great. Um, at this stage, I'm doing my preview and the lots have gone out at gravel so very very disappointing with regards to that um guys we had a nice day on thursday the value bet arrived got punted in so i hope it was your money um got punted in and won by about seven and a half lengths so nothing wrong with that and let's hope we keep going guys we move on to the sunday meeting that's at Turfentain. We're on the stand side track. We have eight races carded. And the first is due off at 12.20. Um, I'm not overexcited about the card. So just uh, tread warily. And guys, I'm looking to um, brass one or two of the favorites. So let's move into the first race. This is due off at 12.20. This is a maiden plate for the girls over 1,400 meters. And is the first leg of our bipod. Please take note, horse five has been scratched, leaving us with a small field of six. For me, it doesn't make it any easier. Um, I don't think there's anything that's going to Hollywood here. They've had many, many chances. So I'm leading with horse number seven, Champimpi Gavin Arena for the Dawson Yard. This is my narrow first selection. I think it's got more improvement than anything in this field nicely drawn at two five to one i think is a nice little uh, bet on that so i'm leaning with his seven for second i've gone for the top of the boards this is the one green bubbles uh, jeff sizer for the pedigree yard is drawn um six out of seven um and i think good enough to be there when the whips are cracking for third i've gone for two uh, primrose path and for fourth, we've gone for three United Ransom. So in the first leg of the bar pot, I'm not going to take a chance. I'm putting three horses there, and I've got one, two, seven, and my selections are seven, one, two. We'll move on to the second race of the card. This is due off at 12.50. Maiden plate over 1,400 meters. First leg of the plate accumulator. Please take note, horse 11 has been scratched, leaving us with a field of 12. And in the second race, guys, um, I'm going for horse number eight, Golden Pavilion. Craig Zaki for the Alec Laidyard. Um, two fair efforts. I do believe that this one will be suited to the 1,400 meters and is my narrow first selection. For second, I've thrown in horse number two, uh, Viva de Janeiro. Gav Larina for the Van Furen Yard. This is currently top of the boards. Um, this one has let me down before. And again, I'm looking to uh, roll it on this occasion. But good enough for uh, places, swingers and exactors. For third, I've gone for the first timer. This is five. Uh, Van uh, Mail. Sianda Sasebo for the Terry Yard. Nicely bred. Big negative is the draw. If Sianda can jump, sit just off them, maybe this will be finishing off when others have cried enough. For fourth, I've thrown in the three. This is Archimedes. Um, run second last on art with Gavin Arena aboard. I'm sure Gavin would have taken the ride if you thought that was the right one. 
but again may be good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets in the buy pot i'm going for two five and eight and selections are eight two and five we move on to the third race on the card <clears throat> due off at 13 25 a classified stakes over 2000 meters this is the first leg of the uh, pick six and here guys i'm looking to brass the favorite and my first selection is the six barmaid Malaseli Kajede uh, getting the ride here for the Burtis Forstler Yard. We go and look, Byron put three horses in the race. Um, and that would lead me to believe he's trying to keep the race open. So I have gone for six and run about 10 to 1 as my narrow first selection. For second, I've gone for the ultra consistent number one banner bridge. Uh, Ray Danielson for the Dawson Yard. Decent effort last time out. And again, it should be there and thereabouts. For third, I've gone for Indian War Dance, the five, big roughy there. And for fourth, I've thrown in the two over to you, the other Burtis Fosli horse. So race three, six, one, five, and two. In the buy part, I'm going to throw in the one and the six. I'm sure we'll get through there. I'm hoping that the six arrives for us at 10 to one. Fourth race on the card, due off at 1,400 hours. A classified stakes over 1,160 meters. I think this is a tough event. Narrow first selection is the three, Civil Princess. Gav Larina for the Van Furen Yacht. This is joint favorites at the moment at three to one. Again, we go and look. The form is a little muddled. Um, third run after rest. I'm hoping that Gavin can pull something out of the hat and get this one up for us. For second, gone for the sixth, Tis Magic. Don Geertsen retains the ride here for the Terry Yard. Um, went off favourite last time out, did let the side down. Um, but I'm looking for an improved effort from Tiz Magic, and I've selected that to run second. For third, I've gone for the one Silent War. Uh, Craig Zaki for the Van Furen Yard. Um, <clears throat> and I think that's good enough to run a drum. And for fourth, I've thrown in horse number nine. Uh, rocking the time away, Nathan Kling for the Broncos yard. So race four, I think very open, three, six, one, and nine, putting as many as the budget would allow. Fifth race on the card, you offered 14.35, a pinnacle stakes over 1,160 meters. And here I'm going for horse number nine, Marigold Hotel. Um, I know it's a filly. Dennis Soares gets a ride here for the Terry yard. Carrying 54 and a half. I still think that this one is good enough to put its hand up, and I think it will go very, very close. For second, I have thrown in the five, Bon Vivant, uh, Gavlerina for the Van Furen Yard. Um, I'm certainly looking for an improved effort from that one, and I've gone for that to run second. For third, I've gone for three, roll with the punches. Ray Dennison from the uh, Magna Yard. Um, also, I think drawn on the right side should give a good account of itself. And for fourth, we've gone for a nice Rafia 10, Valdeosia, Melissa uh, Jelly for the Tony Peter Yard. So, race five, I think it's a tough event. And I've gone nine, five, three, and ten. We move on to the sixth race on the card, due off at 15.10, a middle stakes over 1,000 meters. And here we find the first of my value bets, and this would be horse number one, Flower Bomb. Chase Majan retains a ride here for the uh, Cornet Spice Yard. I think he's drawn on the right side of the track, carrying a, uh, a big weight, but I think he's... I'm capable of carrying this one to victory and round about 3 to 1, 33 to 10, I think is great each way value. For second, I've gone for the two constable, Calvin Abib for the Terry Yard. I'm certainly not going to leave this one out. Put that to run second. For third, I've gone for the four May Queen, uh, Craig Zaki for Heather Adamson. Um, just a question mark there. Why did Marco get off um, and ride the six Cosmic Star? For fourth, I've gone for the five Mythical Dream. Diego de Gavea for the Van Furen Yard. What we're going to look at, Van Furen's got a couple of horses here, you know. 
um, he could have put a whole lot in to keep the race open as well. So just just watch him go down and look for betting support. So race six, I have gone one, two, four, and five, and I do think that one is nice each way value. Seventh race on the card, you off at 15.45, mid rated 71 handicap for the girls, over 1,400 meters. Yeah, my first selection is the one fur baby, Dennis Swaz for Tony Peter. Um, we know what Tony does when these horses come from Cape Town, and I certainly think that this one will give a very good account of itself. For second, I've thrown in the nine, uh, run for Isla, Madaseli Kajedi for the Dawson Yard. I certainly think that this one can run a drum um, at long odds. Massey drawn at one, don't leave this one out. For third, I've gone for two, Miss Shavi, and Diego de Gavea for the Pedigree Yard. Again, um, throw this one in all exotics as well. And for fourth, we've gone for five, Mabaneng. This ran second the other day. Just watch and wait and see if this one still uh, takes its place. Is drawn wide, but... Uh, Excuse me, but is, there is a question mark um, whether this one will take its place. So race seven, I have got one, nine, two, and five. <clears throat> we move on to the lucky last. And in the lucky last, guys, this is Joff at 1620, 1600 meter event, uh, mid rated 74 handicap, over 1600 meters. And in the lucky last, you find the second of my value bets. This would be horse number three, <coughs> Napoleon. <coughs> Excuse me, Craig Zaki gets a ride here for Tony Peter. Watch for betting support, 33 to 10. Again, 72, I think it's great value. Have a look at this one. For second, I have gone for the seven. Uh, the chosen one, nice roughy here. Nathan Kling for the Alec Ledyard. And I'm hoping with a nice draw and a bottom weight, this one can fill in one of the minor spots, make my swingers an exacter pay. For third, I've thrown in horse number two, Savannah Song. Again, Diego de Gavea for the Pettigrew Yard. I think coming back to the 1600, but suit this one down to the ground. Um, throw this one in. You know, has been running against some stronger sorts. Um, if you're taking pick sixes, don't let it run loose. And for fourth, I've gone for the one free movement. Gavlerina for Robbie Sage. Did win over 1,400 last time out. Um, I think it will jump. I think it will sit handy. Um, big weight, bad draw. Um, maybe for me, back end of trifectas and quartets. But I do think that um, the three is decent value. Guys, please take it easy. Look after yourself. There could be several jockey changes. Um, look out for that. Check for scratchings. Check for betting moves. Um, as I said, not for me, not the greatest card in the world. Played a little warily. Um, I'm sure there's better on Tuesday and Thursday. Take it easy. Look after yourself. And back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for that input, the postman. We really appreciate your time and effort. I know you really enjoyed the card out at Gravel. Thank you to you and the kid for doing the card for us. I know I was flying into um, into Durban uh, to watch the racing, and I had a fantastic, fantastic time at the races. Um, I see you've tipped an eight-race program, your bar pot, your PA, your jackpot one, your jackpot two, and your two value bets, race six, number one, Flower Bomb at three to one, and race eight, number three, Napoleon at seven to two. So please, Lord, let them arrive for us and let our winning streak continue. All in all, guys, enjoy, have fun, break a leg, and cheers for now.